it's always good to have a recap, right? So let's have a short recap about my previous vlog. I went out with my bike and decided to go to Apple Store. As we discussed about iPhone XR, iPhone 11 and iPhone 12, I just want to have a look at these three different models in the Apple Store. And I was not pretty sure that I'm going to end up buying an iPhone in Apple Store. And you can even find the link of my previous vlog in the description and even in the cards. So we have ended our previous vlog showing this adapter, right? So let's continue. If you have already subscribed my channel, then just double tap three times and you can continue watching the video. And if you're new to my channel, then just have a look at my YouTube channel. I have many videos. Don't forget to check them out. And before leaving, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Thankfully, I have earphones and adapter with my iPhone 11. Let's bring back to its original position. And at the moment, let's keep this aside. And now, yes. It's time to turn on this red beauty. As we all know that if we hold the power button for 5 to 6 seconds, every device turns on, right? Even I did the same thing. Okay, let's have a look over here. Ah, we have dual speakers. Okay, have a look at the borders. We have a matte finish. Damn, what a sleek design. Totally loving it. And the hands-on experience is like my god, I can't even express it in words. Okay. Okay, so now we have to choose the language. Of course, I'm going to choose English. Yes, yeah, so yeah, here we have English. And now it's time to choose the country. Of course, it's going to be Germany. Okay, so let's have a quick setup. For a quick setup, we need to select written and spoken language for the device. And we need to choose a Wi-Fi network and I'm selecting the public hotspot which is available in Cologne itself. And we need to accept data and privacy and the next step is to create a face ID. And yes, I'm done creating face ID and now comes the next part we need to create a passcode of six digits. Yeah, I have created my passcode. And now it's time to recover data from our previous Apple device. And for that we need to sign in into our Apple account. And oh. Apple ID verification code. How can I get this verification code when I'm not with my Mac? Is there any other possible way to sign in? Shit, it's asking the verification code and I can set it up only once when I reach room. <sighs> I'm so sorry for disappointing you guys. So let's see you back again in my room. Let's pack it back. And before that, let's jump into the GoPro mode. Yeah. So let's keep this box in my bag and pack it. Bye bye, baby. Take care. Huh? So let's pack our bag and move from this place. So before moving from this place, I just want you people to have a look at this wonderful bridge, which I'm going to show you and approximately one minute or two minutes because it hardly takes three minutes or five minutes walk from cathedral to that bridge as I'm with my bicycle it hardly takes me two minutes or one minute so let's just go there you have already subscribed my channel then just double tap three times and you can continue watching the video and if you're new to my channel, then just have a look at my YouTube channel. I have many videos. Don't forget to check them out. And before leaving, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. We are almost pretty near to this bridge. And the name of this bridge is Hohenzollern Bridge. If at all you visit Cologne, don't forget to visit this bridge. Because for several years now, Love locks have been considered as one of the most charming traditions in Cologne. Usually, couples fix padlocks to the railings of this bridge to ensure everlasting love and then throw the keys into the Rhine River which is right below us. If you people have a look at the right side of the screen, these all are the padlocks 
not only residents of Colon, but also tourists want to become a part of this wonderful tradition. That's really great. So, I would like to stop at this particular spot and give you people a perfect scenic view from this bridge. And to do that, I need to go towards that railing. Oh, and park my cycle too. Perfect. Yeah. And yes, this is how it looks like from this bridge. Simply superb, right? There are actually seven bridges in Cologne and you can get the best scenic view from every bridge. If at all you're planning to visit Cologne, especially with your partner, don't forget to buy a padlock and fix it to this bridge. And before leaving to my room, I just want to give a quick guide to all those who are planning to visit Cologne through train. As you people can see on the screen, on the right hand side, this is the central station of Cologne. Once when you arrive at the central station, don't forget to take the exit, which is towards the first platform. And once when you step out of the central station, just turn your body slightly towards the left hand side and there you can find the cathedral the Cologne Cathedral it's also called as Dom and from there it hardly takes five minutes walk to the Lovelock Bridge and I'm sure you people will love it that's for sure I hope you people have enjoyed this video so thank you so much for watching this video do like share comment and don't forget to subscribe